Welcome to Science Fiction and Fantasy Network. Today I'm talking to Nikki Wadley, actor of stage and the screen and also best known, perhaps to you, as uh, Tamsin Drew, the Eighth Doctor's companion in the Big Finish audios. You uh, were also, with another Doctor Who con connection, you uh, worked with Catherine Tate a lot. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved in that? With Catherine, um, my very first play that I did out of drama school back in 2000 was an RSC production and Catherine was in it. Um, so we met on that job, became firm friends, and uh, yeah, I've worked with each other ever since. And so she's coming back to Big Finish. Uh, she is. Uh, oh, can we expect uh, a reunion there? <laughs> yes. Ooh, okay, good. A little one, yes. Uh, can't say any more, I imagine. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nicholas Briggs will probably jump down your throat on that. <laughs> so can you tell us a bit about how you, you said you went to drama school. How did you first get into acting? What first attracted you to it? Um, at school, actually. I had um, an amazing teacher called Mrs. Patterson at my high school in Luton, and uh, she was just a real force of nature and we and she ran an amazing performing arts department and um, yeah she just really kind of ignited me uh, I'd never thought about being an actor before certainly wasn't kind of like a kid who was you know always wanted to act but um, I just really wanted wanted to be part of sort of her gang and what brought you into Big Finish doing the audio dramas? Peter Davison brought me into Big Finish lovely Peter Davison I did a series with him on ITV quite a few years ago and we got on very, very well. And then Peter very kindly mentioned me to the Big Finish guys. I think with a view to me possibly doing some stories with him, but then they used me for Paul McGann instead. <laughs> and Peter said he was really annoyed. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't complaining. So what's it been like working with Paul McGann? I hear he's quite a nice bloke. Oh, it was so lovely. I was really sad when it ended actually, because um, he's just fantastic. Such a lovely guy brilliant to work with I think he's just so creative and energized and interesting um, yeah it was really good fun like you said the character of Tamsin has quite a, a rough ride shall we say yeah how did you find yourself getting invested or even involved in the character and how she developed yeah definitely I mean I think she um, I was felt a bit sorry for Tamsin because it was at a time of her life when she was looking for something she was a little bit lost I think and the, the real sadness though I thought was that she didn't really she didn't get a chance to properly know the doctor before she kind of got seduced by the monk and went off with him and then obviously, you know, ultimately came to her end. They could have had a lovely friendship, I think, Amzin and, and the doctor, but they never really kind of had the opportunity to do it because life got in the way. I don't know if you've seen Paul McGann's little regeneration scene. He does mention Tamsin. I have just seen it. Uh, I didn't know it existed. Oh. And I've just seen it, yeah. He does give Tamsin a little nod. He does. Nice he gives he... us all a little um, little check, doesn't he, before he uh, regenerates. So what's next for you? What are you working on at the moment? Well, there's a few possibilities. Um, maybe some more stuff with Catherine. Possibly. Uh, but yeah, a few jobs annoying me that I can't actually even talk about yet, which yeah. is really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, some, some, some telly stuff, hopefully. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to us. Would you like to tell people you. where they can find you online? Do you have Twitter, social media, etc.? Uh, I am on Twitter, actually, but I don't go on it a lot. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us, anyway. Yeah, it's been a, good. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.